Ah, oh, I was hoping I'd never have to make this video. But the day came, the wagon finally got defected. So uh, the other day, driving to work, I made a mistake and drove to the fuel station where all the cops go in the morning, but I thought it would be fine. I was deciding whether or not to get fuel before or after work. I decided to do it before. The cop came, he got his book out. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. When you're not really fine, you just can't get It was not fun. So what we're gonna do from this is we're gonna try and make it a little bit better and we're gonna try and turn it from being a bad thing where we have to turn the car and make it completely stock and we're actually going to do a video series on what it takes to clear a defect within Australia. Now that it's been defected, I've been sent to Hume. So the things I got defected for were the spikes on the wheel nuts, um, tinted tail lights, and the car was too low. So he was relatively nice to me. He could have done so much more. He could have really taken me over. But I've got to do a full inspection on Hume for the people that don't live in Canberra. Pretty much bend over and hope, hope for the best. So we've literally got to do so much to the car. We've got two weeks to do it. Already ordered new lights because the, the lights we've got at the moment are like cracked and stuff. That's why I tinted them and I went way too dark. I was expecting that one, so that's not fair. Oh wait, so that is fair. We've got coilovers, so we're going to jack the car up. I've more or less just got to put stock standard wheels on. That's about it. About it. Oh, remove all the stickers off the windows because they'll definitely smash me over those. So I'm gonna take all those off. But yeah, instead of doing a customization video, we're actually gonna do a uncustomization video. We're gonna make it stuck. Oh, thick as a dog. So there's only a couple things to do. So pretty much what he got me for was wheel nuts bikes, which is understandable because they also do kind of stick out a bit. He did tick wheels and tires. I don't know if that's because they're stretched. They don't poke, but there's a lot of camber. Bit dark in here, but my black. Can you turn the light on? Yeah. That did fucking nothing. Yeah, I got black tinted tail lights. So we got new ones of those coming. And then the other thing is ride height. So I'm kind of low. We got a little Leo here to help today. He oh, will not help. He's just gonna be munching around in the back of the front yard. All right, let's get to it. So sadly, one of the first things that we're gonna have to remove are all my event stickers from last year, which really sucks. And also my street cover banner. And then the awesome sticker that Scott made me. The Talk Media Picnic Media Camera Car sticker. Because that takes up the entire rear windscreen. So we gotta take all of them off and I just got this one and this one's wicked. Shout out to Talk Media. You shout outs. Shout outs. Today we're probably gonna start with raising the car and peeling the stickers off. The car is also extremely loud because it's straight piped. We should probably show you that. As you can see, it's really easy to hear me. This car is super quiet. I know it's not good to start your car and then turn it off, but whatever. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna have to extremely quieten that down, otherwise they will smash me on that too. So we're gonna have to completely reverse everything in this car. But yeah, may as well start off with um, peeling off the bad boys. Oh, don't cry. So I obviously don't want to get rid of them. Riley's got a fucking weird ass thing of sticking them on the all of his stickers that he peels off on the inside of the garage, but that doesn't help us when sooner or later we have to leave this house. Uh, no, 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 no. This is coming with me. The, the door? Yep. Okay, so we're taking the door with But I want someone to put these, so I'm thinking I'm gonna put them just up here on my toolbox. I've already got some old things up here. Um, just stickers that I've collected over the time. But yeah, I'll probably put them up here somewhere so that you can still see them, because I don't want to get rid of them. They're cool. The street cover one's probably gonna be a bit hard because obviously I can't peel it off letter by letter, especially with the outline around it, but I'll probably buy another one of those afterwards. Um, oh man, I don't want to do this, but... That came off way too easily. Uh, Alright, so there's the service vehicle one, but this one's like, this is the sticky side, not this side, so... I can't really put it over there. Bar fridge over here. I'll put it with the stylized sticker. All right, so that one's there now. But it's I think there's a design so that you can't peel them off and put them on someone else's car so they can get it in for free kind of thing. So it doesn't really want to re-stick. We'll see how long it lasts either way. It's really cool. Hopefully I get another one next year. Now for the last one on the front windscreen. Oh man, that's gonna hurt. That's cute. 
This is how we tire him out. We just play pig in the middle with him. So I guess I'll start peeling off. Oh man, this really sucks. Just one more time, shout out to Talk Media, just because we know that Talk Media love the shout outs. <laughs> And I know that this is hurting him just as much as us because he said it was an absolute nightmare to work with this chrome color. He made the stickers for us. You probably saw him at uh, Power Cruise. Did you cast this? Oh. Not yet, it's not. Yeah. It's got a long way to go. You're gonna have the most stock car here. Bro, my wheels cost more than your car. Triggered. No, they don't. No, they don't say that. <laughs> I apologize, Scott. It hurts me just as much as it hurts you, man. Here at Pigmy, we love men. Wait, no. Okay, no. These camera, um, um, men love us. No. Picnic men, we come up. We, we come together. No. Okay. All right. Forget that. Either way, here at Picnic, we loved Australia. Loved. Well, because they've defected us, so now we're done. But. In all seriousness, ladies and gentlemen, cops are tops. <laughs> okay, bye. Alrighty, so today's a new day. Um, I have the inspection on Monday. It's Saturday, Saturday evening-ish. Um, so pretty much all I've done so far is peel the stickers off. Um, I've got my new tail lights in. I'll show you those. I didn't show you putting those in. I should have, but yeah, whatever. So now I'm going to do tires tonight. I'll just do the front end. So I'm gonna jack it up, raise the coils, and put some stock tires with some good tread on there. Thing is though, is Riley's rears are completely shot. So he stole them and I've got to take them off, put them on my car on the front. Um, I fitted up the new tires on the rears. I didn't balance them because they are going in the rears. So they have to go on the rears, otherwise they're gonna wobble and they'll probably hate me on that. But yeah, so this is gonna be the start of the journey really because this is gonna be the first thing that we actually really do. <sighs> I don't want to do this, but let's get into it. You. Alrighty, they're off Riley's car. Now jack my car up, put them on there. Ah, oh, let's get to it. We're out. Now let's try and get off these spiky boys. This is one of the things I was defected for. So they're like a three-way screw there. That screws into that, and then that screws onto the wheel nut. So I did tell the cop that they screw on, but he didn't care for them. Still defected me for them. At the end of the day, it doesn't matter. Still gotta go to the pits. Alrighty, that's one side done. It's starting to get a bit darker now, a bit later. I'm only by myself, so it's a bit hard to film while doing it. So I'm just gonna do the other side and I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Yoot. It's Sunday, tomorrow's the inspection. Starting off with the coilovers. So I pretty much raised this from this. Oh, well, first off last night, this was like down here. So I raised it all the way up, which I know changes spring compression, but I don't care, I just need to get it done. But it wasn't high enough. It was like still, yeah, it was nowhere near fucking high enough. So I've pretty much doubled the gap now from here. I took the clevis bolts out, dropped it down, held this down on a trusty little brick. Um, but yeah, now that's down. I could j literally just spin the coil over all the way down. So I doubled it in about 20 seconds of effort. <sighs> I'm just worried, like, is that enough or should I go more? I don't know, we'll test it, see how it goes. To roughly show you how far I have come from where I was, this sway bar link, if you can see that, it physically can't go in until I drop the other side. Basically just risen the car from where that would sit to there, I don't know, a couple of inches, a couple mil. I don't know, hopefully it's enough. Yeah, so now I, go to the, I have to do the other side before I put the wheel on, so I can drop the sway bar to get the sway bar link in so I can do the bolt up. But other than that, everything else is done. Actually, I thought of a better way to clarify it. So now, like, so where I'm sitting at now is roughly six and a half centimeters, whereas what I used to be, so the gap between this collar and this collar was the width of the C-spanner. So maybe five mil, if that. So yeah, that's come a long way. All right, other side. All right, so the front's done. Back to Mad Monster Truck spec. Um, I had to put the clevis, uh, the little cam bolt back into the strut, get that camber out. Now we move on to the rear. So we're gonna move, take the wheels off, 
remove the coilovers from the lower control arm. And then I'll wind it down, give it that seven centimeters of buffer. And if the camber is still too much at the rear, um, when I'm at work, I can just pretty much go in. It's a 21, 18 bolt on the inside. It's really hard to get to, but yeah, at the moment it's got three and a half degrees of negative camber. I feel like they're not gonna like that, so I'll have to bring it back up. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna start on this, and this journey, this part of the journey endeavor. I'm trying to get the whole car raised, exhaust done, and then we move on to the windows to get the tint done. But yeah, all right, so let's jump on that. Let's go. All right, so I've done this side. This side was a bit of a pain because under here, you gotta undo that bolt and that bolt and you gotta push it down. It's easier if you undo the other side too because the sway bar can go, like you can push the lower control arm lower. If you have both sides undone, the lower control arm can go further down. Um, so it's pretty much the exact same as what the front coil was, like the actual spacing wise. Um, putting the wheel on before the car's down, it's absolute monster truck spec, which worries me, I may have gotten too high, but if so, I'll just raise, I mean lower, the top towards the bottom to take some of the preload off the spring because it's a bit tight. But yeah, I think I'm gonna move on to the exhaust now because I can't be stuffed to do that again because that sucked. So exhaust wise, this is what we're dealing with. These are the big stock mufflers, absolutely huge and weigh a ton. Here's a bit of three inch pipe that literally just goes from the flange where that would bolt on and runs straight back. Extra loud, grumbly boy. It's almost too loud, but now I've got to whack these on. Now when I first put these on, they didn't line up with the hangers. So I had to like, they've been cable tied in for the last six months or whatever, last year, if, if not more. So now I actually get to put in hangers again for once, which is gonna be wicked because it'll actually work properly and look cool and I won't get defected for that or fail to that. But yeah, so now exhaust time. Alrighty, exhaust is done. Let's see how she sounds. Whoa. There is a lot of exhaust leak there. There's the new lights. Alrighty, so that brings something to my attention. That exhaust leak we need to fix. Okay. All right, so now that we've sorted out the sound, how loud it is and the height, we now have to work on the window tin. So in the ACT, as of 2017, you can have 35% on the front windows and 20% from the rear back. So luckily all mine's 20%, so I don't have to strip the entire car, but I do have to change the fronts. So we already did the first one, did it with the help of Indy, and it looks super weird. A window with no tint on the front, 20%. But yeah, guys in the SS Owners Club of Canberra were actually a huge help. Someone let me borrow these. Huge help, this could have been the one thing that could have stuffed me up. Um, but other than that, we're gonna do the other side now, and that's it. All right, so the new window's in on this side. So pretty much what you have to do is, because I got all the dynamite and everything, you need to poke holes in there. You can kind of just see there's a 10 mil bolt in there. And one in that mess somewhere there. I edged underneath that D at the top there. <laughs> that D. Um, and then this 10 mil literally just reaches in there. It's just a clamping function. So anti-clockwise, just like righty tighty, lefty loosey, undo it. And you pick the window up, slide it out. You can't see it, but I oh, can't see it at an angle. The new window is in there already. So now I kind of just do it up, chuck the door skin back on, and we're pretty much done for the first inspection trial. So it's been a huge, huge fucking day. I didn't think that I'd actually get it done. Um, but yeah, so we're pretty much more or less back to stock. It's pretty cool because it reminds me when I bought it. So it's the first time it's been anything close to this since, since I did buy it. But yeah, so the big things that we did today were raising the car. Um, I had to add the camber bolts back in because there's too much tilty wheels in the front, so I had to get rid of that. Um, the front windows, replace those, jack up the rear, replace the exhaust. Well, the cap back. I'm probably gonna fail on the front because I can hear another leak. Um, but yeah, there was, there was a lot to do and I did it pretty good. So, so tomorrow's the big day. I'll try and film what I can while I'm there, probably just on my phone. But yeah, wish us luck, let's see how we go.